Hello guys, it's me again. Today we're going to get into this topic of Feng Shen, sealing the body. And these are the symbols. So uh, it might look a little bit complex, but we have a simplified version and also a more complex version of the Chinese word. And right now I'm going to explain the Chinese word, what they mean, okay? And you don't, like if you don't know Chinese, you don't have to remember them yet. You just have to understand what I'm doing to, to the different part of the body, okay? Basically, Feng Sun sealing of the body is putting restrictions and programming the different parts of the, the, of the uh, body. And so your body can uh, have some kind of tuning, okay? And because you did that, um, you will be able to do some kind of stuff with this body, okay? For example, protecting the body from evil crap and things like that. Okay, so let's take a look. First of all, we look at this side, okay? Um, this is the face, the chest, the sum right here, the heart, and then the belly, okay? That basically, you can sum it up as uh, the teen gay, okay? The sum gay, and the day gay. Basically, that's the three part you're dealing with, okay? So when you steal up the face, it can it completely, uh, like, really just go all over here, and basically just draw really big because it's like that okay so you're putting something to the teen gay to the sum gay and to the day gay okay now what you do for the for the mean for the for the face okay the teen gay what you're doing here yet you sun and moon sam ting sub sam hun okay yet you and then yet you means the sun and moon basically what it means is it, uh it's giving the uh, resources, okay, giving light into this this face, okay, this system right here, and let it ab absorb, let it absorb. And it absorb into it, okay, into this thing, and so you will have more light for the uh, teen gate. And then 13 uh, loops, okay, these, when you see these, okay, these are to gather in energy. And when we have 13 loops, it's to gather in the Leng He. Okay, the Leng He. Like the D3 energy. The energy that allows this thing to, uh, to have the power to do work. Okay, so you're gathering in things. Okay, gathering in uh, this stuff. If I don't have the loop piece around it, basically it's just to put light in it and you know, just to add more potential to it, that's it. But if you put this, okay, it means that I keep gathering up stuff into this place. Keep uh, empowering it, okay? So it's a non-stop charging in kind of action. And because when you do it, you have to take the power of your heart spells and stuff, right? So it's not this person himself be gathering light. It's you as the source or the alter as, well, as the source putting this light onto here and empowering the light of the uh, team gate okay of the top system so basically this and en enhance or empower or you can say like strengthen the uh, sun guang of the person which is it's uh, you can say the one d1 energy okay the d1 one white energy uh, which project outside now when your top is like the teen gate is very bright, okay? That means that it's very powerful and you will uh, be able to block out things coming into your way, okay? When the teen gate is dim, you will allow things to go inside because the darker it gets, the more you can absorb, right? So when this part is very bright, that means that it's not ready to absorb. At the same time, it kills the negative stuff and doesn't allow anything to go in but its own power is radiating outside so you already when you do this the teen gate it's like the um it's like the okay this is a jar right here okay no the teen gate is right here okay so when this is all filled up you cannot put any more things into this jar so when you do it Basically, it stopped anything from trying to attack and possess this person. 
isn't that very powerful. Okay, if you do not remember the symbol, try to memorize it. Okay, 日月光明照四方，欲清清上清清太清清，只丑人貌神自眉身又出大吉大利。Basically, if you don't remember that, no problem. Replace with 天罗斧头 Okay, that's the simplified way. Okay, 天罗斧头 Okay, now going down to the heart. Okay, the sum. Heart, chest level, okay, and that basically you measure right, right here in the center, and then five finger length right here and five finger length down. That's basically about it. So when you aim at the person writing this uh, symbol, you draw about that kind of size, okay, and really quick, okay. Now here you go, the first one, second one, third one, okay. Three things to do. First one, 大吉三清十三圈 okay. 大吉 what is 大吉 Die cut is like this. Um, okay, wait a minute. Die cut. In Chinese, we have a phrase. Die cut, die lay. Okay, is die is big, and what is big? Big is when something from A depart and go into B. Okay, A depart and go into B. That big. Big is when something fully depart from one side and go into the other side. Okay. Now, when it's small, something just started and it's about to go, okay? Or maybe some interaction started. But when it's middle, it's linked up. Like when we were talking uh, on the phone, okay? It's linked up. That's the middle. Die big is always to jump. No more left. That's big, okay? Die cut is to absorb into a mouth, okay? Absorb something into a mouth. Absorb something into a hole. Okay. Now at the chest right here, what is it? What is it absorbing? Die cut. Right. Basically, it's telling uh, this this energy, the heart energy. Okay. You're telling the power of the tau that you're connecting to, of course. Okay. To go into here and like fully deliver the whole package of magic power into this heart. And then absorb into it, okay. And then sam ting d d d means the the uh basically the sam or power go inside and store into the heart. Now when your heart have this power, this magic essence, okay, what uh what happened is, it's like you got more money, okay. <laughs> you you got more resources inside here, okay. Now thirteen loops, it gathers in the magic power, okay. So after, if I only do die, got something, okay, no loopies. What happened is it will give you a charge, like a bunch of money. That's it. But this, because of the 13 loop, it will keep getting as long as it as its needs or as long as the seal uh, still valid. So basically having this keeps the charge coming, okay? And then after I'm done, okay, look at this. This is the 4V5H, okay? Say the Wang. Now what that is is basically if you take a look, four straight line, five horizontal line. Straight line is a symbolic thing, or you can say it it uh, it means okay the code to mean something go from top to the bottom like this. It delivers from the source the team to the day okay wide. Like grow, when well, you grow big, okay? It's when you burn that resources and you grow. Something is being used, okay? So some kind of effect is being used. 4B5H, okay, this one, four horizontal. Four, D4, the pattern means to put inside a ground. So basically you're putting some power inside the ground, which is here, okay? The container. Five, D5, is to process, start up, use up, okay? Use up these resources, okay? Use up the resources to make something happen. Now, that is the pattern, but what to happen? Like, it basically means to put resources in a place and then use it up, okay? But, what to do? Now, there goes the spell, okay? 四隻五行神龍出行，神龍九轉天地積風，如一天要唔知望，就到白沙接力達。Okay, that the whole spell basically it's basically you can say it's like um 
the, the power from the source go into here and then it starts to do the work and then it sounds like a rap song and then it starts to do the work and then um, it will kick out all the evil crap. Anything that is against its way or not uh, flowing according to its flow will get kicked out of the system. Something like that, okay? Basically, it's like a, a exorcism thing, okay? So it means to block off and kick out any evil crap, anything that is not flowing with this, like what is supposed to be here, okay? So first, you give it the some more power inside, right? It went inside and then it started to do the work. And then, okay, some hong dam zhong, okay? We talked about this before in the other notes. I'm not going to really repeat, but basically it means to boost the heart and so that it will strengthen the, um, your guts, okay, you can say. So basically, um, it's not like really the, the emotion kind of strengthened. Right here, it's strengthening their heart energy. Boosting the heart energy. When the heart energy is boosted, what happened? Well, people like evil craft trying to influence your mind, it cannot do it because you're so strong, burning up. It cannot affect you, right? It wants to possess you, change your mind, take over your body. It doesn't work because this is boosted, okay? When this is boosted, everyone, like, you say this, you say this, you, this, you say this. I don't give a fuck about your word because my heart is so boosted. Right? I'm so confident. I don't care about anything outside. I'm right. I'm right. You see? That's basically what some Hong Dam Zhong is like right here. Okay. If you don't remember all these spells and the symbol, no worry. Replace with a Dai Lo Fu Tao. Okay? Very simple. Now, the, bo uh, the belly. Okay? Belly. Meaning that below this and down. Okay? Don't go too low. Okay? The belly. Now, this, this is the Dei Gei. You can write this one, uh, one tao guai ge, okay? Remember the rain goes, and then gum sui tao muk fo, okay? Go, water, uh, earth, wood, and fire. What it means, okay? When things go straight down, it means to, to deliver in, like to, to pull in this kind of stuff, okay? To, to push down this kind of resources, okay? So this is the five elements uh, empowering that will be stored to strengthen the inner power inside the system right here. So, gum, the goal is to accumulate and then water, to transfer down. Uh, earth is to absorb it, okay? After absorbing, you will bring in the power to process and then give birth to the fire power, which allows your system to burn and start to run inside, which this is to strengthen your internal processing system uh, power. And when this is strong, it will be able to uh, poop out all the evil crap, okay? If you don't know the word, don't worry, replace it with Dei Lo Fu Tao. Okay, the hand and the leg, the palm actually, I should say, okay? On the palm and also the bottom of the leg, right, Lui Ling, thunder command, okay? What basically what it means the law right here is to rain farm, meaning that it's going to put like pull down resources into a farm, which is this place, okay, which is a land that is cultivated with uh, the seed, the magic, the seed, okay. So it rains down resources into here, and ling is the command, which actually uh, drop that that power okay into the command of whatever you want to do with the leg or with the hand now in the post heaven world right here you will use your hand and leg in the pre heaven world you don't have hands and leg so when you write these to empower the the four okay your your four thing you are basically like setting uh, a command right here that say pull in all the resources into here and empower whatever you're doing to this in this world. So whatever you touch, whatever you're trying to do, okay, like you're trying to use magic, you're trying to use do this and that, it will empower everything that you're trying to do according to like what your heart wants to do, okay? So this is a very simple way to empower that. And you can write the San Long Fu Tao if you don't know, okay? Now, after all that is done on the front, okay, go to the back of the person and write these. Okay, let's explain the fu. 
Sam Ching right here. Okay, the three ticks. Okay, we explained that before, right? Sam Ching. Okay, Yok Ching Tick Sung, Ching Tick Tai Ching Tick, Chick Ling, Tin Long Sam Sun Long Gao, Tin Long Chess of Yi Gao, Sun Long Chick Ling, Chick of Sun Ling, right? Okay, and then you have the five loop piece. Okay, five loop piece. Right here, the five loop piece is uh, when, when you see three loops, what I mean by three loops, like this. Okay, three loops, five loops. Okay, the difference is when you get reborn in the power and then put in a command. This command go into a subject to do what kind of stuff, like how does it go in, where, like how, uh, uh, what is the property of your, your mission when you go in here. When there's three loops right here, remember D3, is to deliver raw resources, r deliver raw ingredient, raw energy, uh, pre-heaven energies to help, okay, to put in new things, to help, to to move around things to you, okay, that's basically that, like that, okay, D3. D5 is to go in and stay there. After it stay, it can be doing things, it can be not doing things, but basically it go in and stay inside the ground. So when it stay inside the ground, you can, later on, you can command it to, uh, to process, to work, to kick things out, whatever, okay, but Basically, it means to stay in, okay? So after the five here, okay, um, you open up the band, okay, right here, one and two. And then you start writing these words inside first. Sam Lo Josi, right here. Sam Lo Josi, Joy Chi, Zai Bak Sat, okay? Like this. Sam Lo Josi, Joy Chi, Zai Bak Sat. What happened, okay? You know Sam Lo Josi, right? Sambo Josi is one of our uh, famous <laughs> primary uh, higher power, right? This higher power is something that um, it's not like a person, but you treat it like a person. It's a it's a kind of energy thing, and um, basically it's like you created your your character in a video game, and you can call out that character again to use it whenever you like. And when you're not doing stuff, you cultivate this character and put stuff inside the character to make it stronger. Basically, it's like that, okay? So, Sam Lo Josi, Joy Chi, meaning that Sam Lo Josi, stay here, okay? Sam Lo Josi, stay here. And then, Zai Bak Sat, Zai, is to um, restrict and control uh, and Basically, it's like that, okay? It's like to, to control, to restrict, and to, to like, handle, okay? To, to, to fix, handle, like that. Bak sat is basically uh, hundreds of uh, sat, which is the clogging or uh, obstructing, uh, blocking kind of energy. That is, like, going against your way, stopping your flow, uh, clogging the system, etc., okay? So even the yip is also a form of sat as well. Is there anything that's stuck your way? So that that basically includes the evil crap, right? Okay, so Samo Josi is here to da da da, okay? And then we go left band, right band, okay? After that, we go into the bottom right here. Now this, you'll be writing this Fu Dam at the location of where uh, the curve of your spine is. It's like just a, a little bit uh, below that curve. Okay, like when you go like that, you put your hand like this. Okay, basically that that's the spot. Okay, so it's like if you uh, look at the person from the side, um, you have to look at the belly button. Okay, and then put three fingers below the belly button. That spot at the back. Okay, right at the back. That is the place where you want to draw the fu dam around that place. Okay, it's fine. Don't need to be super precise. Now. At the Fu Dam location, you do not draw the footer yet, okay? You do not draw this yet. You draw all these first. Chui Che Zam Sat, Kui Che Chut Ngoi, Sao Yan Bun Sun, Sub Sam Hun, 13 loops. So basically what it means is remove the evil that is clinging on you. Zam Sat, to chop up the Sat. Well, when you have restricting things, that is trying to block your way, okay? It's like you have a, a big rope that is, uh, or a big wall. 
that is trying to block your way like this, okay? It's like like a crab, okay? Blocking you. Now, okay, it's very strong because it's like a wooden board coming at you like this, okay? You can't walk past me because I'm one piece, right? When you chop it up, what happened? Well, you chop, 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 chop. Now you can go in and all the pieces will shatter and it will make way for you, right? So it's like when you have a, a wall in front of you, okay? You bomb it. Now the wall becomes shattered. It becomes many, many different pieces. So you can walk by it, right? So it's like when you're dealing with um, energy, it's like a bunch of energy here that is very solid, which is blocking your way. That's the sat, okay? It's like you have a tumor. Now, you, you chop it up. What happened? Well, everything becomes like loose little pieces and now you can woo and wiggle your way through, right? And now that's the sat is gone. So, basically, it's like that. Okay? It means to exile the evil outside. So, it's like, okay, now you chop up the different blocking stuff, right? But, but, but they're like still little bastard there blocking your way, you know, causing troubles. Now, they're weaker because they're not together or uh, uh, like one piece, right? So, they're like, now they become a uh, from a big monster. They become little, little, little tiny virus. Okay, tiny little monster. So and now you will exile them out of the body. Okay, and then sao yan bun san right here. This one means to uh, guard the person. Bun uh, san is the bun is the um uh the the it's like. It's like the resource center, which is your fa sun, okay? It's like where all the resources are, which is which is your your fa sun, your energy body. Sun is the body. So basically, this is to uh, secure your fa sun, okay? To stay in and secure. And then you gather in the 13 loops, which means that if any resources is not enough, it will come in again, okay? If you don't know all these, okay, if you cannot remember, you can always replace with this one. Some of how three ticks and then the tick link with the five uh, strokes, okay? Five strokes like this, tick link. Like this, and then down, up, one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, back, like this, okay? This, that can also work. Okay, this is a more, uh, more, you know, simplified way to do it, okay? Now that we understand how to, like, what's going on. So, for the back, okay, now these, okay, at the front, simple for the front, it's basically everything that you want this body to output, okay? It's like the yellow paper or red ink. You want this body to output these energy, like how, when it output the, the energy outside, okay, what, what happened, etc. Okay, so you want it to have more light, you want it to have more internal power, you want it to be able to um, get these some more power inside and boost the heart, uh, filter out the evil crap and things like that. Okay, it will be able to do that. Okay, now, but the inside you cannot, like, you want work to be done, but where's the resources, where's the battery, right? So at the back, you're shopping a fool. Okay, for the back, the whole back, starting from the, uh, uh, like, you, you draw from here and all the way down, okay? So basically, you draw this fool for the back, and the back stays to put in resources to make it stay inside with some law, Josie, in staying inside to restrict and to kick out the stuff, to chop out the stuff, and such like that. So basically, okay, this is Zai Baksat, right? Like, to, to restrict and to handle, to... Uh, control the sat, okay, the clogging energy. But how is this done? Well, these is what happened when the job started. So basically when this will activate and start to do work, these will do and equals to what, like how it's supposed to handle the sat, okay? Well, it handles the sat by removing the evil, chopping up the sat, and then kicking out the evil stuff outside and then Saoyan, Bunsan to guard and secure your body. Well, you might want to ask, why don't we like, this is like, 
to, to exile the evil outside. Why don't we exile the sad? Because you have got to understand, sad can be not evil. Okay, it's like when I try to give you um, some restriction because I want you to learn a lesson. That is not evil, but it's also sad. Okay, it's like when your uh, your parents try to teach you something. Okay, don't bite your finger. Okay, you have all the suppression inside. These are good stuff. They're not evil, right? But they are also a form of sad inside you, blocking you, stopping you from doing these kind of stuff. So these are good stuff. Good sad. Okay. So that's why we only need to exile the evil outside, and that's it. Okay. So. These are the symbols and it's very, very basic. Now, how do you apply them to seal up yourself? Well, if you have two person or you're doing it for someone, that's very simple. You can basically, the most simple way is to take your, uh, uh, your, your, your sword finger, okay, uh, right side, and then the left side, you have this thing right here and clamp it to your hip right here, okay? And then you'll be stomping the heart spell. Stomp, okay? Now, if you're stage one, You'll be stomping the first heart spell, and uh, basically it should be enough. If it's a serious case, you stomp two heart spell. Okay. Now for this stage two disciple, if it's a serious case, you'll be a you might want to stomp three heart spells. Okay, up to the number three, but otherwise it's fine. Okay. Usually for normal stuff, uh, it one heart spell is very enough. Okay. So you stomp the heart spell. Okay, right with your. Uh, this at the hip and this at the chest. So uh, let's say we're not at the altar. So you close your eyes and you stomp the heart spell. Stomp, okay? Left foot, stomp. Okay, now you draw the power out and then you face this person in front of you, right? Okay, so you take out, open your eyes and blow. After you're done with, okay? Now your, your, your hand, this have to change, okay? Because this right here, it only put resources into you, deliver and absorb the resources, which is not what we're doing. Okay, we don't want it to like just just to empower just a minute. Oh, okay, never mind. We are not gonna like empower this guy by doing these symbols. Okay? We want to work on it to program. Okay, to program this thing. To program the internal. Okay? So remember to King C, right, the three hand sign. This is the king, okay, king. So basically, you you can hold this, okay, with the thumb out and clamping the back like that. So you have the all four fingers up, except for number three, and you clamp onto your uh, hip, okay. This is the internal power that you want to bring out to tune the uh, internal workings of this person. So after you're done, like that, and then you you uh, face this person. Okay, now remember to st you're stepping. Okay, you want to face this person to uh, to tune up his his uh, internal workings and stuff like that, right? So this you want to have your left foot forward pointing at them, and the right foot forty five degree at the back. Okay, left foot forward like this, and then you draw. Okay. Now, when you're drawing all that stuff, the face, you aim at the whole face like this is like a huge ball. You don't have to go inside this. Okay, you can write bigger if you like. But basically, when I do it, okay, if I face you and I'm going to do it like this, okay, basically, I'm like this, okay? Okay, like that, very fast, okay? Now, you're done drawing, okay, and then you draw the, the chest. One, two, three is stacked up, okay? So you, you move from here, and then down to the chest, and then down to the belly, okay, basically like that. You don't have to take again, okay? When you're done, make sure in between that uh, these symbols, you do not lose the finger and the form of this thing, and you can keep going. So after you're done with the, 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 all that stuff, okay, now you can go for the, um, like after all these one, two, three, okay, you go to the hand, or the, tell the person to give you the hand, and you can draw, draw. Now for the leg, you don't have to like take off your shoes and go, Ugh! you don't have to do that, okay? You look at the top, like when they're standing, you look at this part, the top of their foot, and by a distance, you draw, okay? You don't have to like go down. <laughs> you don't have to do that, okay? Just point, 
Okay, like as if it's a picture and then draw on top of it. Okay, after every symbol you draw, remember to thought into it at the end. Okay, for example, Lu Ling, right? So you draw Lu Ling, and then at the end you thought into it. This is to poke and penetrate that symbol into that place. Okay, so after you're all done drawing these symbols, you go to the back and then you work from the person's back, okay, uh, from the neck with the one, two, three, okay, and then all the way down. So you go one, two, three, and then da -da 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 -da, as if like there's a whole piece of paper, and you right, 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 right down to here, and then fu dam, and then right here. Okay, now after you're done drawing everything, if in, in case in the middle, your finger is loose enough, take MP again, okay, take your magic power, and continue, okay? Now, after all these things are done, okay, after all these things are done, um, you want to stamp it if you have the stamp, okay? So take the Samro, the Samro stamp. Now, take the stamp, okay, wait a minute, a stamp, okay, take a stamp, here we go. Okay. Now you take the stamp with your left hand. Okay. Right hand like this. Face the uh, altar if you have the altar. Now you stomp the heart spell in. And then you can go around and stamp the different places. You do not have to really like chop and you know, bang it on it. Okay. Just by a distance. Okay. Like this is the face. You don't have to really go right inside. Okay. You can just by a distance and stamp. When you put it here, okay, when you're like outputting the stamp into into this subject, like you want it to stamp inside, okay, you go like this, okay, you go like that, and then you say chick fung chickling. While you do it, you stamp the left foot once at the same time, like chick fung chickling, stomp, like this. When you go like that, the stamp power will penetrate out there. Okay, so it's like this. Chick fung chick ling, chick fung chick ling, chick fung chick ling. You go, right, and then blow. So it go one, two, three. Okay, like that. Now for the hand, like some places you might want to directly chop on it to save some time. That's basically fine too. But remember the spell, chick fung chick ling, okay? Meaning to bond in power for this restriction, bond in power for this command, okay? So that's how you basically do it. Uh, after stamping everything, you go back, okay? Walk back a little bit, facing the guy, and then you use Sam Lo San Guang and Hoi Guang, okay? Basically, you stomp the uh, heart spell. Now, if you're stage one, uh, you will stomp all your heart spell. If you're stage two, go for the San Fa Zhao, okay? The San Fa Zhao, the fifth one. Uh, fifth, no, fourth, blah, 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 uh, fifth, okay? <laughs> Um, no, four, four, okay, four. Okay, so basically that's it. Uh, you do the hoi guang, right? Stomp, bang, out, and then ha! Okay, basically that will activate everything. You can also do the gao long san guang ku, okay? Uh, like that, and then you do the spell, da -da 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 -da, and then, okay, same thing. So basically that activates the whole seal. And then you tell this person, okay, it's done. And basically the person just look at the altar, like your altar, because you're working on, on them. Tell them to put the palm and bow to connect with the altar. Okay, bow three times and it basically connect them with the altar. And so the energy can flow, okay. Now, for more advanced disciple, you can open altar to do it or uh, like, yeah, we can open altar to do it. Okay, so take uh, incense. Now, let me get some incense. Okay, incense. One, two, three. Take three incense, okay? And the most basic way, okay, if you don't know so much yet, you can just take three incense and put it at the palm like this, okay? And then clamp it. Okay, like that, like that, okay? Clamp it. Now, before you light the incense, okay, like this, stomp in all your heart spell. And then blow. That basically charge up the incense and connect it to the source. Now light this up with the mo for of the altar, okay? The mo fire. Now you're done, okay? Like that, okay? Get the smoke going. And then you hold this like a pen, like that. Okay? And then you face the person and you draw. Okay? Draw everything. 
Okay, draw. After you're done drawing, okay, you take this, okay, and then you go to the uh, altar, okay, bow, and then you put it in the altar, okay. Now, where where should you stab the uh, incense? Think about it a bit, okay. <laughs> your altar have five. I mean, your incense pot have five locations to for you to stab the incense in. So where? <laughs> Remember my lesson, okay? The the back, which is where the sun pie is, okay? The back is the yun mo where you pull pull in things to go into your altar, which is not right, right? And then you <laughs> have your left side, okay? The altar's left side, which is what we call the ching long, and then the bak fu, and then the front is the ju jug or the red bird, and then the center is the yellow. So this incense, what it's supposed to do? It's supposed to have the altar connect to the subject and uh, do stuff to the subject. Okay, so it's supposed to um, like it, what, what you can say you can do the front or the center. There's like two choices and they will both work. Okay, so it depends. Um, it depends what you like to do. If you're dealing with a case where like you're treating this person and it's like exorcism time. Uh, you want something to be done right away and like immediately correct things inside, okay? Stab the incense in the more like to the center of the pot. If you want to just empower and you know just add a shield, that kind of stuff, you know, empowerment, you do the incense should be like a little bit to the front side, okay? To the juja. Okay, after that is done, um, basically like you write and stuff and then you go stamp. After you're stamping, you tell the person to go bow, okay? If they uh, also burn incense, tell them to burn incense and put the incense on the altar's left side, okay? Altar's left side, the Qinglong side of the pot. Because you want their soul energy to be able to connect with the altar to bring it into this action, okay? So the Qinglong side. Now, um, basically, that's how you can do it for other people. But how to do it for yourself? It's hard. Like, <laughs> it's hard, right? So, the way to do it is basically very simple. For example, this way is the altar, okay? I will take my finger right here, and I'll draw the heart belt and go like, <laughs> like that, okay? Now, when you do this, point, don't point forward. Have the finger point a little bit upward like that. And then you draw everything. That will restrict the power from going projecting forward. Okay, so restrict it a little bit. After you're done all the, all these. Okay, like all this are done. Okay, now you will want to stomp the left foot one time, one, and at the same time you swiftly go up with your body and your both legs go like that and together. So you walk into the seal. And let it combine into you, okay? So after you're done, don't, okay? Top, middle, bottom, done, okay? One, two, three, stomp! And then walk up, like that. Okay? It combines. It combines everything into you. So that way, your whole front soak up the steel, okay? One, two, three, done. Stomp, walk up. Okay, there goes the steel. Okay, now when I'm here right now, okay, you you want to do the hand and the leg. How how to write, right? So you basically write on this palm. Okay, so you go like that again, and then you write on this palm, this left palm, left palm. Slap on the slap on your right hand. Okay, and then right hand slap on the inner side of your left foot. Okay, with this hand holding a fist, like that, and then the other side of the foot, bang. And then, okay, after you're done, okay, so it's like this, like this, okay, one, two, three, four, okay, like that, four, combine, okay, this is to combine, and then slap, this is where your hip bone is, one, and then two, on the hip bone, and Ha! When you go ha, you stomp the left foot as well with the left foot forward. Okay, so let me repeat again. Okay, right on the left hand, slap 
Now your right hand got it. Grab a fist, pull to your hip. And then this, slap on the inner side of your left foot. And then the other side of the of the uh, right foot, okay, the inner side of the right foot, slap, clap, everything combined, okay? And then you want to go back and slap the hip bone to absorb, flip, and use the back to slap the hip bone again, okay? This is to activate and bring all the way up like this. Left side, sword finger, right side, palm, stomp your left foot. Okay, that basically, bang, and everything is set in. Okay, so, and then at last you have the back foot. How do you do the back foot, okay? Right here, okay, after you're done with everything, okay? Now, we want to have the foot written in front of us, just like as if this is the, the air, okay? Air right here, floating right here. So basically, I want the foot like this, and then draw, 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 okay? Now, when you're drawing this, close your eyes. Think of your back. Okay, think of just your intention is at the back. Okay, after you're done, okay, stomp the left foot at the same time, walk up and turn your body, okay, walk up like this, okay, well, you're done, right? Walk up, turn your body, and go that way, okay? Again. Like this, okay, and then turn your body to so this way. Now both hands, clap, stomp, stomp the left foot. Okay, basically what you're doing, okay, right here, da -da 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 -da. like this. Open your eyes, okay. Walk up with the left foot, and then uh, right foot go up and swiftly like that. Now your back got that foot. Stomp when your both hand together okay both hand like this and you stomp basically that combined okay this is to combine so full in the air right stomp walk into the full combine okay now you face the altar okay now and you can bow one time or three times connect with the altar okay and now all the uh symbols are being charged because of the linkage that you just bow to connect okay so this set of simple body ceiling will be able to uh, help you to protect yourself empower yourself boost yourself and things like that okay so it can be used to prevent evil crap it can be used to protect yourself it can be used to boost your own magic uh, when you're doing stuff you know when you're trying to do work you can boost your uh, energy before you're actually doing the magic work uh, basically, this is a uh, that's how it works. Okay, so go back to line and check your notes, and uh, that's it. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.